Well, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, of the uh, European markets end of days market analysis for second of August, Wednesday, two thousand and seventeen. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's bring the uh, end of day stats here. Even though we had uh, stellar earnings from Apple overnight, it had no uh, actual uh, significance and. It failed to stem the sell-off as well, and that, that's in the S Nasdaq and the S&P 500 too. The FTSE 100 certainly for closing down 12 points. The DAX closing down 70 points, certainly giving up that, those gains. The French CAC closing down as well. FTSE maybe IBEX and on the back of a stronger euro. Okay, so in terms of stats for the day, just to recap here, uh, the bearish argument for the European uh, obviously markets was the stronger euro certainly hurting. Although we did have stronger uh, uh, employment numbers out from Spain. That certainly failed to deter the sell-off. Uh, weaker, inf I mean, the inflation data, uh, the producer price uh, index certainly came in more or less in line, minus 0.1%. Nothing of uh, uh, anything out of the extraordinary. In terms of US, we had weaker job growth at 178, expected 185. Mortgage, uh, mortgage applications certainly falling as well, although the ISM uh, business conditions certainly came in slightly better than expected. Uh, the oil drawdown uh, was less than expected, and hence the reason why oil prices certainly uh, flustered, and that did hurt the uh, S&P 500 to a large extent. Now, I think the biggest uh, surprise really was the sell-off in the Nasdaq, even with the uh, stronger earnings from Apple, so that was le least expected, and that certainly did uh, cause uh, markets to uh, go into a swoon, uh, hence the reason why we had a weaker close on the European session as well. Okay, so in terms of uh, the technical picture, let's just look at the te technical picture for you. Let's start off with the German DAX, okay, daily chart. Uh, certainly held yesterday's rally, so again, that's a good sign for the bulls, bear that in mind, okay. Looking for a move higher. A 60-minute chart, I'm looking at a potential inverted head and shoulders pattern. Now, we've actually retraced more than expected on the right shoulder, so that certainly is a good sign. If the NASDAQ doesn't, uh, or shall we say, if the NASDAQ fails to rally, then uh, certainly bear that in mind. Now, for now, you have horizontal support in this region and looking for the right shoulder to go in and potentially make a move north. Okay, so keep an eye on that pattern. 10-minute chart, you are into horizontal support on the German DAX at 12,150. Uh, let's see if that can certainly hold. Looking for a higher low here, bear that in mind, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's have a look here again. French CAC certainly swooning as well. Daily chart at the moment, holding yesterday's doji candle pivot low, okay? 60-minute chart, again, going back into that uh, key horizontal support, 5095. Certainly bounced towards the close. 10-minute chart, again, certainly bouncing at that 5095. So looking for a move higher. Any pop higher, you are going to see resistance in this region at 5135, and then the next region is at 5150, so they are your resistance zones. In terms of the FTSE 100, it certainly seems like we're building a base here now at 5395. Okay, so my bias certainly, or should we say 7395. My bias certainly will be bullish on the FTSE, but having said that, bear in mind you have the unfilled gap at 7370. Even though we had weak earnings from the likes of uh, Travis Perkins, Agreco, uh, we had Johnson Press, uh, we had uh, Moody's, oh, Moody's was bullish, William Hill, BRC Shop Price, Rio Tinto, uh, UK Construction as well, certainly on the downside. Uh, and that certainly has taken the pressure of the uh, the actual uh, sterling, so certainly looking for sterling weakness going forward, okay. Euro certainly uh, very, very stellar, and that's what's triggering the actual sell-off in the Eurozone at present. So watch out for the FTSE, we've certainly have put in a higher low here. Looking at 7390 as being a potential base for the FTSE 100, certainly to move higher. The FTSE did not sell off as the S&P or the uh, US market sold off, so that certainly is a positive sign. Okay, in terms of the Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just bring this up for you again. Swooning, selling off from that pivot high at 3480 or 3490 certainly isn't a good sign. Just bear that in mind, okay. Certainly rejected that, uh, that key zone or key resistance level. And then started to fall. Now you are looking at potential support at 3450 for the uh, euro stocks. I'm looking for a potential move higher. So we'll certainly keep an eye on that. Okay. In terms of the uh, European indices, I think that's a good summation. Again, Euro USD is coming into potential double top now on the 15 minute chart. So again, you are looking for resistance here and a potential reverse of lower, which in turn should help European equities move higher. Okay. Uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.